time. Back to you guys. Well, take your sweetheart out for dinner that uh, sources locally grown produce along with historical entertainment, Elwin Elk Grove. Okay. Camby Brown's going back in time for a look at the city's pioneering past. Hey, Camby. What is on your head? Good morning. So Elk Grove, really known as being a cow town, big in farming here in the area. And yes, we are all rocking our bonnets. Now, if you're looking and thinking, well, how come the girls are sitting over here and the boys over here? Because they separate the girls and the boys back in the day when they would come here to the Rhodes School. Now, Roberta, it kind of explain how this works. Kids come to come here when they're in third grade for a field trip. And what do they learn about? They learn about the history of Elk Grove, a lot of it. Uh, they learn about the school. The school was built in 1872. And it was a real functioning school? It was. It was out on Slough House Road. It was named after John Rhodes, who was one of the rescuers of the Donner Party. And the children come. It's a living history program where they can learn all of the history and experience pioneer life as children would have in the 1890s. Yes, I love this. Now, uh, you'll notice that Roberta is dressed as the mistress of the school here. And I learned that she could be a little terrifying. That is because you can get in big trouble. So what are some of the rules here? Because if you want to answer a question, what do you have to do? Um, after you answer the question, you have to curtsy and say, thank you, Mistress Mary. Okay, can you show us? Can you demonstrate what this looks like? So this is what you would have to do, and then the boys would bow before. And if they did not do that, they can get in trouble. And what would happen? They might have to miss recess. They might have to... Uh, be sent outside, they would probably have to clean the chalkboards during recess okay, time. Okay, and you guys also back in the day had a dunce cap that sometimes the kids would have to wear. We do, and it's right there, and that was not a favored thing to be sent to the dunce corner. Yeah, and this is why this is so important for these kids to be able to get to experience this, because they really get to live and feel what it was like back in that time, but field trips can be expensive, not all families can afford it, and that is why they are doing this second annual fundraiser. So what is this that you guys are going to be doing? The, it's called Plow to Plate. We have the chef from the Meadowlands restaurant, and he is using all uh, local foods to prepare the, the meal. It's uh, to get scholarships for the children to come so that they can experience this. And it's a wonderful experience. We, um, it, it was nearly sold out last year, and so we're encouraging people to get their tickets early this year. Yeah, because it's, it, hap it happens next month. Let me have all you guys stand up so you can face the camera so we can see how cute your, your outfits are. And uh, it's happening at the end of September. If you want to get tickets, you can go uh, on the Elk Grove Historical Society's website and be able to find them there. Okay, let's see your curtsy and your bows. <laughs> see? All right. And the bows. There you go. <laughs> There you go. So cute, that little girl on the far left, just like Laura Ingalls Wilder. Yep. Far, far left there with her little <laughs> braids and everything. Paul.